Are you kidding? They they gather again? Ah, I'm not one to brag. Last Tuesday was election day. There were numerous school levies that eh, were looking to... How should I put this? School districts that were looking to get into your wallet, fleece you, abuse your tax dollars. Sadly to say, and I'm not looking at the negative here, eh, there were two. The people in Loveland and Norwood. As you know the rule of the program, if you vote for a school levy in... Well, you're stupid. A lot of people in Loveland and Norwood, stupid people today. However, the one we focused on with laser-like information was the one in Lebanon. And I understand there are uh, there are a group of people outside again. Uh, really, they're they're here to. I mean, we can't let them in the building, but we actually put. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I know. Look at it. It is. Uh, it's. It's just my calling. It's one of the things that I look uh, look forward to every election day. And remember, this will not. This is only the battle. This levy. Uh, this levy went in uh, in Lebanon. Was only the battle. It's not the war because what's going to happen is they're going to come back in August. They're going to come back in November. But. But thank you. Thank you for spending part of your Saturday morning in front of the bunker here in uh, in Montgomery where our studios are. And uh, and really, really, you shouldn't have done that. And I, I do appreciate the people uh, showing up again. And it seems like the superintendent of Lebanon schools can't handle the heat, Mike North, is now announcing he's looking for other jobs. He is stating, uh, he is saying it's because of family reasons. However, just about a year ago, maybe a little bit more than a year ago, he accepted and then declined a superintendent's job at Beaver Creek Schools in Greene County. At that time, he said his family wishes to remain in Lebanon. But now he's looking to get out because he knows the laser is upon him and the abuse of the tax dollars in the Lebanon school district. We also made mention West Claremont County Schools, which went down to defeat as numerous people, thousands voted not only no, but hell no. Congratulations to you folks in the West Claremont County School District as well. As I always say, and my message to you is, you must remain vigilant. Don't let your guard down. A defeat does not stop these people. Individuals driven by endless money, tax dollars coming into their checkbooks. Individuals driven by the big business that is public education and the abuse of tax dollars by the teachers union. Who, by the way, many of them meaning members of the teachers union in all the states, 38 states listening to me now, will be going on summer break for two and a half months while you and I work. 19 in front of 11, 700 WL. First game in the series yesterday afternoon, it was the Reds holding out and winning against the Cubs 5-4. to four. Second game of the series, it's Bronson Arroyo on the mound this afternoon. One ten for the first pitch. Marty Brenneman, Jim Calchamp, the call. The inside pitch at 12.06 this afternoon on 700 WLW. Kentucky Derby is this afternoon. 6.24 is post time at Churchill Downs in uh, in Louisville. Always uh, the beginning of some of the great, great regional spring events, meaning uh, the Kentucky Derby, you have the Indianapolis 500, all these great events happening uh, in our region. You can hear the race, by the way, this afternoon on uh, Fox Sports 1360. We got you covered. 15 in front of 11. I'm Daryl Parks. Oh, I just got word. In fact, when I get off the air here in a few minutes, I'm being called into a meeting. The executive committee is calling an emergency meeting on revoking a couple of man cards. 
Oh, my Lord. I wanted to get on here. I had to cut my grass. But here's what's happening. First of all, the schmo of a husband, this woman from Washington State, this Melissa Waller, who uh, testified in Widmer Trial 3.0, who and the husband says it's okay that she's uh, carrying on this relationship with uh, with the convict, Ryan Widmer. This Melissa Waller, her husband, is being, uh, being brought up on man car charges. Really. And then also the caller, Tracy, the 51-year-old woman who says she's overweight but has an online relationship with Ryan Widmer, her husband is also being brought up to have his man card revoked. So we'll have, we'll have details. I mean, this is going to be a big debate. We will have details on this. Hopefully, what, next Saturday? All right. I'll keep you. Well, you can check on my Facebook page, too, and you can check on, uh, check on my blog, too, uh, during the week. We may have an update as the executive committee meets. Uh, Mark writes into Deep Park, 700WLW.com. He says, uh, that woman, meaning our friend Tracy out of Westchester, better be careful. She could easily fall into the trap of a serial killer such as Ted Bundy. Uh huh. To Columbus we go. Here's Mike, 700 WLW. Hey, Deep Park. What's going on, Mike? Of course, I call you Dimebag Daryl. Uh, either or. Either I haven't celebrated the death of uh, Dimebag Daryl in a while. I've never did. From Pantera. Yeah, all right. Hey, um, <laughs> what's up? Did you notice when you watched the show last night that when they showed her gravesite, they only had her first and middle name? There was no last name on the uh, stone? No, re- I didn't notice that, really. Yeah, because I, I looked at it, I'm like, you got to be kidding me, there's no last name. I mean, not, what was her first name? I'm sorry, I, what was her first name? Her first name Sarah, and then her... So uh, Sarah her- Ann. It just said Sarah Ann and had 1984 to 2000, whatever it was when he killed her. Yeah, her main name was Stuart. Well, it didn't have that. Wow. It just said Lisa yeah. Ann, or uh, what, what were Ann? Mike, you know, that says everything because the family, her family, her blood family... They said we're not going to d- disgrace her grave with the name Widmer. And, you know, she was buried within 10 days. Well, she was cremated. Well, okay, okay, well, cremated, but I guess I have no idea when they made the memorial for her. You have no idea why they have what? I said, I, I, said, I, I guess then I suppose they had no idea. Of, I have no idea when they, they made the uh, memorial for her. So that could have been like a year later. Oh, I see. I see. So, yeah. but it, it didn't have a last name. Well, Mike, do you? I mean, you're like a guy, right? Uh, well, yeah, I hope so. I mean, are you just? I, I, to me, I am just scratching my head of uh, about women falling over themselves to uh, to get close to this guy. It it and, almost makes you want to off your wife tonight, doesn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I got to deal with my wife. If she ever thinks about killing me, all I have to do is tell her, and uh, and I'll give her the keys to the house, and I walk out. Um, I think my father-in-law would take care of me if I did that. Yeah, like I, 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 I don't understand why women are flocking to this guy. Um, is, is it because he comes across as uh, as vulnerable? Is it uh, he's not he's not good looking? Uh, he's not homely, but he's not overly good looking. Is it because he is kind of a bad guy, and maybe there's a little bit of that going on, and that women are attracted to? I, I could not answer that, Daryl. Is he a rehab project? He's the ultimate rehab project. <laughs> oh, All man. right, man. You have a good day. All right, Mike. You take care. Up and see, bus. 10 before 11. These are questions that need to be answered. 700 WL. Think of that donor, that anonymous donor that sent $60,000 to Ryan Widmer's defense. If that's a guy, if that's a dude, he ought to have his man card revoked as well. I'm Daryl Parks, 513-749-7000, 1-800-THE-BIG-1-POUND-700, AT&T, into the bunker here. And, oh, I want to give away, uh, give along some congratulations. You know, uh, Taste of Cincinnati, one of the greatest events in, uh, in downtown Cincinnati, coming up in only a few weeks on Memorial Day weekend. And uh, my good friend's down at Bella Luna. And if you haven't been to Bella Luna on Kellogg, it's an Italian restaurant, kind of eclectic. Uh, they have uh, they have one base to t- uh, best to taste the bread pudding there at Bella Luna, and they also have one one other thing I believe. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, their lobster ravioli, which is the best seafood entree, best to taste. So congratulations to our friends down at uh, Bella Luna. And no, I'm not looking for a free meal. 
Hey, to tell you, uh, say I told you so, our good friend Ted Williams. Homeless Ted Williams out of Columbus, the golden voice guy. Guess where he's going back into? Rehab. He told WBNS Television Thursday night he was heading back to Texas into the Origins Recovery Center there because of alcohol and drug dependency. Say it. Who called that one? Who called it? Who called it? And finally today, I have you know, I came to the uh, came to the show this morning with a list of questions for Jill Widmer, Ryan Widmer Sr.'s mother. And I have some hard questions now to ask the people in Cincinnati. City council members in Cincinnati. The mayor who has wasted tens of thousands of dollars suing the city so he can get his $500 a month allowance for a car. I have some hard questions. Because it's time to ask this. Because they won't stop with this with this whole stupid streetcar, the trolley. And now, remember when they talked about the streetcar was going to be a one end of the streetcar, the southern end was going to be by the stadiums, right? So when people are at the stadiums or the banks where people actually live now, uh, well, they can get on the streetcar and go to Finley Market or they can go up to UC. Well, now that the money has been cut by the state, guess where the streetcar is not going now? Correct, the riverfront where the stadiums are. We're on a Sunday afternoon, 60,000 people in the fall will be at Paul Brown Stadium. We're on 81 days a year. There are tens of thousands of people at Great American Ballpark. But no, the streetcar won't go there any longer. Nor will the streetcar go to the casino that has been delayed now. I guess that makes too much sense. So here are the questions I have. Hard questions this morning on these sacred airwaves. Number one, where is the money going? That has not been answered. Where is the money going? What promises have been made? And to whom? Who's getting a cushy public job after they leave office? And finally, here's the ugliest one. And I call on the city council to answer this question. I call on the mayor, and I call on the the city manager, Milton Dahoney, because they all know, each and every one of them know. Who's getting the kickback? Because someone's getting a kickback. It's too obvious at this point. Overwhelmingly, people say, this is a stupid idea. This is a waste of money. All right, so you're going to build a thing at a cost of, uh, what are they saying now, $95 million? And you all know it's going to be a hell of a lot more than that. Promises have been made. It's obvious. The people are saying no. Dumb idea. Not going to drive downtown, pay to park to hop on a trolley. Yet they won't stop. Just some questions to think about today here on the big one. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. We have Reds baseball on the way as they take on the Chicago Cubs from Wrigley Field. The inside pitch at 12.06. First pitch with Marty and Jim Kelch at 110 this afternoon on the home of the Cincinnati Reds. 700 WL. 